find the equation of the hyperbola whose foci are 4 comma 2 8 comma 2 eccentricity 2 now given foci is equal to 4 comma 2 6 comma 2 8 comma 2 eccentricity is equal to 2 remember one logic y coordinates of the foci are identical means transverse axis is parallel to x axis since y coordinates of foci are equal <coughs> transverse axis is parallel to x axis automatically equation of hyperbola is x minus h whole square by a square y minus k whole square by b square equal to 1. Now, you know that h comma k center of the hyperbola which is the midpoint of the vertices or foci. Since foci are given directly we can write center is equal to h comma k is equal to midpoint of foci that is equal to 4 plus 8 by 2 comma 2 plus 2 by 2 that is 6 comma 2. So, h comma k is 6 comma 2 we got. Now, one more point is distance between the foci is 2 a e. So, 2 a e is equal to 8 minus 4 is 4 2 into a into e value is given as 2 is equal to 4 that is 4 a is equal to 4 implies a is equal to 1. Once you know a equal to 1, we require b square is equal to a square into e square minus 1. So, a square is 1, e square is equal to 4 minus 1 that is 3. So, we got h comma k value, a value, b value. Directly we will write x minus 6 whole square by a square, what is a value here now? We got 1 minus y minus what about k? k is 2 whole square divided by this is b square is 3 is equal to 1. Now, this is the required equation of hyperbola. We can write in a box like this. Now, coming to second problem here, given hyperbola is 3x square minus 4y square equal to 12, reduce into standard form x square by 4 minus y square by 3 equal to 1, call it equation 1. Now, given line is y is equal to x minus 7 or x minus y minus 7 equal to 0, call it equation number 2. Now, we need to find out equation of tangent to the hyperbola parallel and perpendicular to. So, in this one first case, any line parallel to x minus y minus 7 equal to 0 is of the form, directly we can write x minus y plus k equal to 0, call it equation 3. Now, 3 is tangent to 1, if and only if we are familiar with the condition, a square l square minus b square m square equal to n square. Now, what is a square value here? 4 into 1, b square is 3 into 1 is equal to k square. So, k square equal to 1 means k equal to plus or minus 1. So, what is expected tangent now? x minus y plus or minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is the equation of tangent. Now, we need to find out perpendicular tangent also. So, any line perpendicular to x minus y minus 7 equal to 0 is of the form it is x plus y plus k equal to 0. So, call it equation 4. So, 4 is tangent to 1 if and only if again condition a square l square minus b square m square equal to n square. Now, again a square is 4 l square equal to 1 minus b square into m square equal to 1 is equal to k square 
So k square is equal to, of course, b square value is equal to how much now? You see, this is 3. Now, k square equal to 1 implies k equal to plus r minus 1. Therefore, x plus y plus r minus 1 equal to 0 is the equation of the tangent line perpendicular to the given line. 